So there are certain cancers that will qualify you automatically uh, depending on uh, the testing that you have and uh, what stage it's at, things like that. Uh, typically, uh, you can apply as soon as you get a diagnosis. So there's no reason to, to, to wait or delay uh, the application because there is usually a time lapse between the time that you file your application and the time you start receiving the benefits. And so even in the worst case scenarios where uh, the cancer is terminal uh, and you've gotten a recent diagnosis, you're still typically uh, looking at least a couple of months before you can start getting uh, your benefits. You can file for disability while you continue to draw a paycheck, so long as the income you receive is below the substantial gainful activity threshold, which changes all the time. For 2021, that is uh, $13.10 per month. Uh, so as long as your income is below $1,310 per month and your hours are you know, not approaching full time, usually we look at maybe half time or 20 hours a week, and income below thirteen ten per month, then you can still file. That said, uh, it's it makes it easier to win your claim if you're not working at all. A compassionate allowance is essentially where Social Security flags your claim for immediate processing. There are a list of impairments, uh, most of them cancer related, uh, that allow Social Security to grant your claim with uh, very little evidence and process the claim immediately. Uh, just due to the nature and seriousness of the illness. Uh, many of them are terminal illnesses, not all of them. Um, some of the, there's a list, Social Security maintains a list of impairments that qualify for compassionate allowance. Some of them uh, require more extensive evidence uh, to show what treatment options are available or lack of treatment options are available. The end result is that if your impairment qualifies as compassionate allowance, your claim is usually granted. I think the average processing time is about three weeks. Of course, it still takes another three to four weeks to get paid in those claims, but compared to the normal timeline, the compassionate allowances are processed very quickly. Your past work does come into play uh, when Social Security is evaluating your claim. Um, it's, it's more important for individuals who are over the age of 50, uh, between the ages of 50 and 64, uh, they look at your past work more. Uh, it has a bigger impact on your claim. For an individual under the age of 50, uh, you have to demonstrate that there's no job that you can do in the national economy that exists in significant numbers. For individuals over the age of 50, they evaluate your past work uh, to determine if you can do those jobs before they look at other possibilities for you. Uh, additionally, you know, a strong work history usually will help bolster your credibility. To start your application for disability, uh, you can contact the Social Security office directly. That's to the local field office, the local Social Security office. You can call them or just go into the office. You can also fill out an application online at ssa.gov. Uh, you can also go through an attorney's office to file your application. Sometimes an attorney can help you get together the evidence uh, to help support your claim to increase your chances uh, on your application. The process for filing for disability, um, the first step is you file an application uh, requesting disability. You submit evidence showing your impairments. That typically takes about six months. Um, if that is denied, uh, the next step is to file what's called a reconsideration, which is a, an appeal. Um, typically that takes about two months. That can be done through the Social Security office as well. Um, if the reconsideration is denied, uh, then you request a hearing in front of an administrative law judge. This most claims end up in front of the administrative law judge. Cancer claims, uh, unless the cancer is in remission, most claims pr are probably not going to end up that far down the path. Uh, typically, the first two steps, the, the claim will be granted. You won't have to go in front of a judge. But, uh, you know, it, it does happen, even, even with, uh, with active cases. Occasionally, a claim will end up in front of an administrative law judge. There are some steps that happen after the administrative law judge, the appeals council, federal court, if it needs to happen. Uh, but typically, if you're denied on filing your application, the next step is to appeal that. When you file your application for Social Security Disability, you'll want to have any medical documentation, doctor's records, tests, to support your claims for your impairments. If you can't get those or you don't have those, uh, Social Security or your attorney can help you get those records together and submit those to Social Security for you.